Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer, and we have a very important decision to make in front of us. Do we hang out with our potential bride-to-be, Kasumi Yoshizawa? Or, as I've just found out, do we hang out with Mr. <laughs> Mr. Maruki back there, the guidance counselor? Oh, why does this game give me these, these goddamn options? I actually think we should be, hang out with him as much as I want to hang out with Kasumi right now. I do agree that we need to get started on this, and this is the first opportunity I've seen so far to rank up and actually spend time with this guy. So, I think we do it. I think we just do it. Kasumi will always be there, right? She, she, she'll certainly be around for a while. I get the feeling maybe we'll even be able to see her over the summer. Who knows? But, but this dude, he's gonna be a little bit more elusive. Also, my decision is being based on the fact that I do not have a faith persona necessarily, but I do have a counselor persona. So I think that's uh, probably probably gonna help us. I don't know. This is this is this is what I'm going with. Let's hang out with Maruki. Hey there. Oh, it's you. What a scorch. It's gotten right? so hot lately. Really makes me reconsider the lab coat, to be honest. If you're okay with it, I'd like to get some input from you. You have time right now. There's no pressure, obviously, but. I feel like I become closer to the counselor. Why don't we do it? Let's help Doc out with his uh, research. <laughs> oh, great. I just finished a counseling session. Now meet me in the nurse's office. Yep. Yep. All right. Later, Morgana. We'll let you just do your thing. Hmm. I've been getting a lot of students coming in here ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamoshida was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Huh. Fair enough. I, I, I guess that's good. So they have, huh? Well, that's not to say I've gotten a sense of every single student's emotional state. Either way, I hope my worries end up being groundless after all. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask you for your help, but... You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Well, yeah, that's, uh, our deal. Right? I said you'd be helping me with my research, but don't worry. It won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... Okay, sure, that sounds easy enough. But let's see. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little about what this research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind. Or perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you. Or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer. Pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Okay, I think I'm following. Bodily physical pain can be thought of as something necessary. An automatic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still... But what about pains felt within one, one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. That's a good point. I mean, when you think about it, pain is just the body's way of telling you, Hey, stupid! Don't do what you're doing! You put your hand on the hot griddle, take it off, you dumbass! You're gonna burn yourself! But when you think about it, think like, like, heartache, or loneliness, or anxiety, or, you know, things that don't really have a clear physical cause. What is it that triggers these things? It's a very interesting question. I guess it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I... Well, I want to learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, Gamma-kun? 
Hmm. Honestly, when I lie, that's true. That twinge of guilt is a good example of internal pain. Yeah, it, it really is. Especially if you're... Especially if you're lying about something that you really don't want to be lying about, but you're afraid, right? You're afraid of what the other person's going to say or think when you say it. And it can be a lie over something stupid, right? <laughs> like, yes! <laughs> yeah, like, no, I did not eat your last piece of cake, GGK, in the fridge. I, I swear, it wasn't me, it must have been uh, someone else. Must have been one of my parents, or the dog, or something. <laughs> but, but it's like you, you think to yourself, why? Why am I lying? What, what do I have to gain about this lie? But it's just, it's just fear. You fear hurting another person, and I think that's that's part of the the twinge of guilt that you get when you do it. it can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Gamer Coon? Honestly, I think that one's pretty necessary. Yeah, it, it does seem necessary. How do you how do you learn? True. It proves and validates the love that came before it, after all. A very fitting answer from you. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though, personally speaking, I'd think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. See, I don't agree with that, though. I think pain serves a purpose. I mean, what would living be like if you couldn't feel pain? If you can't feel pain, you don't know what something good really feels, right? You don't have anything to compare that feeling to. That's that's like one of the big things about like what is it like psych? Is it psychopaths or sociopaths? I think it's sociopaths that don't feel emotions like normal people do. They don't know what something truly joyful is, and at the same token, they don't know what something really painful is. It's hard for people like that to actually grasp when they do something that hurts someone else. The only way you know when you're doing something like that is if you have a concept of pain yourself. So, honestly, no, I don't I don't think pain should be disposed of, as it were. Mm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research. To save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess don't worry about it. Doing what I can, right. Well, thanks to you, I think I'll be able to better articulate my thoughts today. Well, sure. Thanks, man. Hey, rank three. Flo, chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. Holy shit! That's right. pretty cool. That is a really cool ability. Okay, I think that'll do today. Oh? Hmm? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> oh, your mental training! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no! I didn't forget about promise, of course! I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with my research. Just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Thanks to his mental training, my mind feels stronger. Right. Hey, five more SP! Nice! Oh, here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Hey, Jagarico. Thanks, dude. Well, see you. Okay, now we're ready to wrap things up. Hey, I reach it. He, he really seems like a good dude. I like him. I really do. Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session for the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Well, yeah. Dude, you're actually working. Oh, man. No. Good work. Good work over there. Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. 
it'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. All right, see you later. Well, I am available when you are, my good sir. Truly uh, a good idea. Back. You know how we're going to that TV station tomorrow, yeah? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. I, maybe? Oh, that's right. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities. Well, yeah, that's a fair point. With how much money they probably got in their fingers and all sorts of dirty business. Hmm. That phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. I, damn it, Yusuke. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyway, we get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Oh, maybe we're gonna be on TV! We'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be like two seconds. Hmm. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? <laughs> I can't promise I won't do something stupid, Yusuke. I cannot promise. But man, do I want to. Oh, Christ. All right, let's take a look at this. Do we have anything? Nope. Nothing really interesting to be doing. What is it? It's Wednesday? Is there anything to do on a Wednesday? Uh, town of Texas, we'll talk about Motomachi Chinatown, a popular attraction for foodies. Chinese restaurants. Good smells are coming from all over this place. It's easy to find something great to eat here. Interesting, I suppose. Oh, one thing we should take a look at. I haven't looked at for a while. My, uh, plant. We doing good with the plant? Hey, hey. Ah, yes, perfect. Here, take some, uh, take some bio-nutrients, my plant. We're gonna have to go buy more of these. Oh. Some free kindness. There we go. Yes. That's perfect. What else do we want to do? Is a question. We should be working on our kindness and our charm at the moment. And granted, we could still be spending time with Coffee Dad. We could just, you know, clean some stuff. That might not be a total bad waste of our time. Also, thinking about it, we did get our equipment from, uh, what is it, from Gawagami the other day? I never looked at any of it. Is any of it good? Oh, hello. Shikigami dress. And an old ghastly dress. Both of these are pretty good. Reduce physical damage low and reduce physical damage medium. Interesting. Well, we'll give ourselves the Shikigami dress. And I guess Ryuji can have the... Can have the old ghastly dress? I suppose. Old Japanese style I've made of paper. <laughs> Don't ask me. It's pretty good, though. On, we do have these two things for you. Well, the Zen outfit's good, too. Those that calm your heart and mind. Hmm. Agility plus one. Worn Chinese dress said to be woven by a fairy or agility plus... Oh, that's that's beautiful. A fairy Chongsam. Plus three agility. Twelve evasion. Hundred four defense. Holy crap. You are more... Almost as defended as me at this point. Yeah, Morgana's the one who's gonna need new armor. If we get anything at the shop, it's gonna be probably for Mona and Yusuke. If I had to. Maybe. Take a guess. All right, I think we... Yeah, we should probably spend time with Coffee Dad. We need to get this relationship going. We really do. I guess we'll pick up more coffee while we're at it. Yep, brew some coffee. Ooh. Pip a charm. Some more relationship. Hopefully this is enough to get to the next level. I don't know how much it's going to take. Yes. All right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. Hmm, <laughs> looks like the chef's gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. Still not enough charm to level. Interesting. There he is. <laughs> Hello there, Coffee Dad. Mm. This is Hawaiian Kona. Let me explain. A Hawaiian treat. Oh, American Hawaiian Kona. Because of the rarity and price of Kona beans, a Kona blend only needs to contain 10%. Wait, really? A 100% Kona coffee roast is quite expensive. Good Kona coffee is known to have a rich flavor, bright acidity, and complex aroma. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, there we go, finally! Finally, we can level up with him if we want to. Good, we can wow. stop doing this. Coffee is good, don't get me wrong, but I... We could be doing much better things to be boosting our stats. I actually wonder if it would have made more sense and that's why we to just spend time with them outright. To help make TV shows. Oh, good. We're on the field trip. 
I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Boring. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Chill, man. <laughs> what? What do you want from me? <laughs> I know too much about media. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. This get any more obvious? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> so sleepy. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? Oh, I don't know, man. I swear, I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Well, I can't stand your goddamn beige jacket and pants. Who the hell dresses up in pure beige, my good sir? Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Oh? Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? What? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> oh my god. If anybody talked like this in real life. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Jesus Christ, dude, she's underage. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Ah, uh, Ryuji wishes to perform the Kalima, I see. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Yes, Becky. Well, I mean, then, teach. Uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Oh, thanks. You're giving me grunt work. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. <sighs> well, what do we expect? Oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. <laughs> I'm assuming we lost in the end. God damn. That's not fun. I'm so pissed off! I get you, Aren't dude. We supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. What was it? Was it supposed to make you feel bit? What were you doing in there? Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being phantom thieves ain't easy. The and sacrifices we make. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Hmm. Pancakes, you say? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Also not wrong. Really? Really? 
you might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. I feel bad, though. Mona can't do anything. Uh-oh! Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Hello there! Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Uh, Akechi? nice to meet you, Mr. Goro Akechi. Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? Uh, excuse me, what? What is that? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Delicious pancakes. Delicious pancakes. Delicious pancakes. Guys. Guys. He said the thing. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I bet he's gonna be my best friend. Startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. Oh, of course not. He looks like a dick. Nobody in their right mind could ever like someone who looks like that. <laughs> you don't get it. That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Uh huh. Sure. Hey, Suidobashi. Ultimate urban leisure. Enjoy the arcades, spas, theme parks, and more. You'll become a dating expert, apparently. All right. Now, some invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. Cool. New place for a map. We'll take it. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? <laughs> Sorry, Morgana, you've been overruled. Time for some thrill rides. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Using your cat hood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. And we do. <laughs> we can play around and have as much fun as we want, but, uh... Yeah, we should probably go do other stuff. Well, then. They're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's Ryuji's thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Poor Ryuji. Poor Ryuji. Never gets a break, does he? Is there anything else to do? Eh, not particularly. So I suppose what we do is build a stat. And now that we've made, uh, made it so we can actually uh, level up a coffee tad, we don't need to do any of this other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, just like with Kamoshida. Nothing too crazy there. What can we do to boost our charm and or kindness? I wonder. Hmm. That is actually worth doing at this, uh, at this point. Also, is there anything to buy here? I know stuff comes... Ah, look at this! The retro game set! A gaming console set that includes a game. They're both considerably old. Hells yes! I am buying this right away. Thank you! <laughs> Let's go uh, put this in our room real quick. I think it is the perfect compliment to anything we could possibly be doing at this point. We're gonna want to be playing video games. Come to think of it, you bought a game console, right? That I did. Now we can play games. Playing video games will cost time to pass, but various stats will increase depending on what game is played. Games are made up of several levels. Completing one will fill in one cartridge icon. Blah, 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 blah. Basically everything else that we do. We can play video games, which is a fantastic... Oh, I received DLC. Oh, right! <laughs> All of the legacy DLC! I still never picked any of that stuff up. I thought to click. 
<laughs> I'm kind of glad I did. Here is all of the Legacy DLC. Fantastic. Uh, Bufu Garazir. Ooh, 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 do we get... Fry, fry, fray! Oh, oh, that is great. We, that is great to pick up because we can cheese this now. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's head over to Shibuya real quick and go to the Velvet Room. No, Justine, we are not going to be hanging out with you in particular. Though, actually, we probably should. Uh, we're going to be doing this. Now we just got this uh, fry card. Well, let's uh, come over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. We have fry. Oh, look at this. We have Ameno Uzume. Who could use this skill? You got to forget one, though. Uh, let us get rid of... Let me get rid of my suit, maybe? Burn free shock? Yeah, we don't need that. Goodbye. Hello, Fry. <laughs> Let's go into the velvet room now. That is really easy. All right, so if you have the if you get the legacy DLC, which everybody should be able to get, you can easily clear level two of the twins' hey. requests. Hmm? Oh, that's. It would seem. I see you have brought us an Ame no Uzume with Frey. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Your assignment's done. It is commendable that you have chosen to work so diligently towards your rehabilitation. Huh. I guess you at least got the will to work. Well, of course I do. I'm a working man. Don't give me that smug attitude. This is your duty, inmate. <sighs> that said, you have completed the task surprisingly easily. Yeah. It's not like Atlas gave me the tools or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You might actually be worth your time after all. Justine, tell him his next task. It's on that list, correct? Indeed. Now then, I will sign your next task. Be aware that the tasks on this list will increase in difficulty as we go. Are you prepared? Yeah, sure. <laughs> How admirable. <laughs> well, our bond is growing deeper, somehow. But you know what? We'll, we'll take it. We've hit rank two. All right. Once again, we would like to bestow a new privilege upon you. However, it is exceedingly powerful. We ask that you fulfill another task before receiving it. <laughs> Life isn't just going to hand you success. Farewell. Now I will assign you your next task. Sure. What is it? Now. Harbor a Flaros with Taru Kaja. Hey. Okay, is Taurus with... Uh, Floros with Taru Kaja. Yes, a Tauros. Certain? We're playing fucking Pokemon today, guys. This is what we're doing. Justine. Registration? <laughs> oh, God. Are you sure? All right, we might as well register Amino Uzume like this as well. Now, the inmate needs a fusion, advanced them. fusion? Yes. So how do we make... We need an Eligor. Bereth, Oribus, and Eligor. Now, I think what this is telling us is that we have an Oribus in our party at the moment. Gather we them. can buy back Bareth, but we've never made an Eligor, and it's level 16 now persona. We should be able to make one if we just pick a couple of specific personas. Uh, I would actually imagine we should be able to fulfill this request like immediately as well. There's Oribus. Yeah, nothing. It's unfortunate. There's nothing here about Eligor. So we don't have the proper combo. We'll look this up later you change your mind? and figure out what it is we need to do. We got the money. What? I could I could sit around and play around with it for a while, but I'd rather do some other stuff at the moment. It's not it's not crazy important do we get good. this going immediately. At least I don't Done think so. Already? We'll take a... What? Hold on. Once we go back. No slacking off. What's the first ability they give us? We're doing strength. What is the level three ability? Now I need. God damn it! Now I need to check. What is it? Lockdown. Laser thief persona learn attribute. Oh yeah. Oh that's right. That's what they kind of do. Yeah, I never really took advantage of that stuff in the original. It's not that uh, that crazy. I mean, that looks cool, right? It looks really good, but you tend to go through personas quickly enough that I just find it easier to get more personas that cover different things as opposed to trying to make one solitary perfect persona. I don't know, that's just how I play. Maybe other people uh, want to do something different. I don't know, it's up to them. Not me. <laughs> this is my playthrough, damn it. Uh, either way, so now that we have done that, let us go raise an attribute, as it were. Or we could spend time with the twins again. Hmm. 
It is tempting, but I think we will go the attribute route. So it's an evening. It's a Thursday. Is there anything special at the bathhouse tonight? I can't remember if they do something on Thursdays as well. What do you want to do? No, we'll go in another time. If it's not the special type, there's not a good point in doing it. See, this would be great if we had... <laughs> if we had a goddamn confidant to do. But we do not, unfortunately. Kawakami and Sojuro are not available. And we don't have most of the game unlocked quite yet. You know what, actually? I just had a thought. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do some darts. I am actually very interested in doing some darts. We don't really, really know what to do with our time, per se. What do you play? It's 800 yen to play all you want. All right, cool. Let's play some darts. Hmm. Let's do it. Time will pass if you play darts. However, you'll have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you. Playing together will help you bond and strengthen the effects of baton pass. Now, I think I want to hang out with On. Playing darts with your friends may improve your baton pass and multiple party members. You can view your party members' baton pass rank when choosing who you will invite to play darts. You can also see your party members play darts by pressing square. You can also play darts by yourself. You won't be only to bond your teammates, but you can practice as much as you like. Right. Interesting. Uh, I'm always thinking about what's best for the fan of this. Yeah, we haven't done do? this yet. I do want to play with someone. Ah, yeah, look at that. So, Ryuji's a rank 2. Style. A decent partner. Aims for bullseyes. Decent accuracy. Aims for bullseyes. Low accuracy. <laughs> She's got good form. No thumbs needed. Aims for high scores. Low accuracy. Throws beautifully. <laughs> low accuracy. God damn it. Okay, so An isn't that accurate, but she does try to aim for bullseyes. Okay. It's good to know, I suppose. <sighs> Alright, yeah, let's hang out with An. Let's do it. Hey, hey. Might as well try calling up some other people. The more the merrier, right? Hey, On! Got some time? <laughs> Wanna go on a hot date? Oh, shit! Oh, everybody's here! Well, Finished warming up. As I've explained earlier, we're playing... We're playing 0-1. We have five rounds to bring our score down to zero. And by doing this as a pair, the Phantom Thieves' teamwork will strengthen. Hey. All right, let's begin our team game. Hey. All right, sure. As the rules, let's do 301. I think I can handle that. Okay, so we started 301. We're trying to get to zero. You can do this. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Okay, is this actually like a mini game we play, or... Oh shit it is! Use your controller to aim and hold R2 to confirm where you would like to throw the dart. You can also press triangle to reset the targeted area. Shake the controller to throw the dart at the targeted area. Take care not to let go of the controller. Oh shit, okay, I'm unplugging. I'm unplugging this goddamn thing, hold on. <laughs> Alright, because I was plugged into the PS4. Oh shit, I don't want to hit my microphone. Fuck me. Alright. Uh, take care not to let go of the controller. Yeah, okay. If I do, you'll just hear me scream in agony as my computer breaks into pieces. The goal of 01 is to lower your score to zero. Press square to check the values in each area. Aim for the best scores using three darts per round. A bust is when your score goes below zero. The round will end, and the score you obtain will be voided. Zero so your current point total. Yeah, you want to do it exactly. When you are near zero, you'll be able to see how to obtain the points needed to check out. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> Thank God. Now, I was playing darts in uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, so... <laughs> I liked how they did it there. I wonder, I hope this is just as good. In darts, your skill will be determined by the challenges. Press L1 to view certain conditions. Aim to be a highly skilled darts player. Alright, I hope we're not timed. Let's take a look at this. So, one point, a nice one. When one dart goes into the bull and your score is less than 100. Okay, finish, bring your points to zero. Master out, finish the game with a double, triple, or bullseye. Finish the game with you when your score is over 100. Okay. Patrick, all three darts hit the bullseye. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ton eight, ton 80. All three darts hit the triple 20. Yeah, so a triple 20 is even better than a bullseye when you think about it, because bullseye gets you 50 points uh, for doing it. Well, I, and uh, a triple, what is it? A triple 20 gets you, would be 60 each hit. 
Is that is that how it works? I actually can't remember. Granted, we probably should try to go for bullseyes. Right, let's aim. Holy crap! Oh my god, look at that tiny dot. Hey! Oh, I hit my computer! Oh no! I hit my computer! Ah! This is not what I wanted, game! Fuck! How do I do this? Uh, all right, I am standing far back from the microphone right now, so I don't know if, how well you guys can hear me. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ! If we try to do maybe, maybe this, I don't know. Uh, maybe try to do it this way. Fuck! Wow. There? I'm sorry, On. I'm so sorry. I tried. I'm getting nervous. I'm awful. I'll give it a go. I need to practice. I really need to practice this. I'm happy I'm standing, but at the same time, look at you! What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, uh, you! What? You? I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking. I'm fuck. You just fucking hustled me! I got 20 points and then Han gets 113! No! I feel so embarrassed! Oh god, help me. Yes! Yeah, let's keep Try at it, you. game. God damn it. She gets two bullseyes in a row. What the fuck is this shit? Fine. You know what? Fine. I don't care anymore. We're going for, we're going for broke here. Hey, bull, you fucking, there you go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go for triple 20. Fuck you, game. Fuck you and your shit. All right, damn it. Yeah. Single 20. It's uh, not what I was hoping for. Let's try it again. There it is, a double 20. That's better. Oh, it's, that's, that's, that's a bit better. I almost missed the board on that one. We have 57 points on. <sighs> this is my last round. I gotta make sure I don't screw it up. Yeah, it go, go for it. If you get one bullseye, you will have a very easy time of finishing this game. Teammates finishing throw. If you have a low score by round four, your teammate may ask for advice on how they should finish. It's incorrectly increases the possibility to perform a finishing throw. When your teammate finishes in this way, your synergy with that teammate increases leveling every baton pass rank by two. Ooh. Excuse me? For real? Oh, you can finish it right here. I think I'm nervous. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm nervous. Just play like normal. Thanks! That's all you can really do. Do what you can. Wah! 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 Was that? That was it! You fucking... Okay then, sure. Nice pair play. Thanks, game. That was exactly it. Did I just like boost my rank with her by two? That was so we did it, zero fun. points exactly. Did we make an awesome team or what? I could feel you were counting on me, so I had to try really hard. Aw, on you sweetheart. <laughs> did I just get the... <laughs> I got two ranks! Oh, that's really cool! I've got uh, max rank three baton pass with on now. I feel like I've learned something by playing on a team. Boom, yeah, there there goes for me. Very well. All right, I shall go next. Let us dance with darts. <laughs> How are things with Yusuke? Ah, yes, so he's at rank one. Very well. Uh, let's do it. You know what, sure, why not? This will be the darts episode. <laughs> Let us go. I love the chance to actually boost my baton pass rank with Yusuke as well. Indeed. Might not be able to get to rank three, but hey, rank two would be pretty good too. All right, let's try this. Uh, let's go for that bullseye. Oh, direct bullseye. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. For real? A triple 20. Ah, damn. Okay. And a single 20. Yep, not bad. All right, go for it, my my friend. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> I revel in this feeling of tension. 
It's my turn. All right, give it a go. <laughs> oh god, this, this honestly, this is kind of fun. This is really cool. Uh, single twenty, a double fifteen, and a triple sixteen. All right. Honestly, that's uh, not too bad. I see. It's round three. Time certainly flies when you're having fun. Take it from here. I suppose so. I almost don't want to clinch this now. Maybe that would help us. But we could win by on this round, most likely. Yes. Ho! Oh, bullseye! So check out a single 7? Or a single 16? Now, a single 16 would be, what, right over here? Yes. Oh, and now a single seven. Oh, I see. I see what you're what you're doing now, game. Boom. Done. And we finished. Beginner dartsman. Nice. What does that mean? Nice one. Finish low tongue. It's beautiful. perfect zero and a perfect success. The goddess of victory has smiled upon us. Rank two? Yep, rank two. You know what? I'll take it. I will happily take it. Hmm. Tired from all that practice throw precise throwing? I can tell you've grown somewhat, though. What is this, proficiency two? Yes, it is. That was time well spent. Beautiful, the dart slinger. Nice. That should do it for now. So we, we, we improved our relationship with everybody on the team. If we were confidating with Yusuke at this point, I'm assuming that would have worked for him, too. Nice. I'm wondering if that was enough to uh, rank up with on. I suppose only one way to find out. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Oh, here he comes. Ah, it's Akechi. Oh, Cody. he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Yes, hello to you too, Mr. Smarmy. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real. I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Oh my god, look at you and your perfect goddamn hair and your perfect goddamn smile and your perfect goddamn attitude. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. And your perfect goddamn misrepresentation of all things good and joyous in life. Get the fuck off the stage! <clears throat> But, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Why? For what That's reason? That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. We're not judging any... <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this again because the game keeps doing this to me. We're not doing anything. We're not even judging people. I mean, I, I guess we are, but personally, we're judging them. <laughs> we're not doing anything but having people fess up to the shit that they did themselves. That is it. There is no crime here. There's no, there's no nothing. You got nothing on me, kid. 
more importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Okay, we can get into a debate about the ethics. I am okay with that, but legally, you have nothing on us. Morally, that might be a more murky gray area because I do I do admit that it's um, it's morally kind of interesting. It's an interesting thought. If you could change the heart of a person against their will that you thought was doing wrong, would you do it? And that's all the information you have to go on. You don't know if what they're doing is actually wrong, or if it's uh, if there's complicated reasons for it. Just snap judgment. Could, would you do it? Most people probably would say yes, but it is a morally gray area because you're imposing your will on someone else. So that's uh, <laughs> it's a thought, right? You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I'm fucking working on my charisma too, goddammit. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Ryuji, don't do it. Of course they do. Don't do it. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Hey, look at that, though. That's a, what would it be, a 30% approval rating? Yeah, well, we're not really talking about approval. Just belief, but it's good enough for me. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Yeah, All right, let's try asking this student here. Why me? Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? Uh, 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 they do more than the cops. <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed, it's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? What? Hmm. What would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the Thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is of only course if it is. people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Hmm. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. You made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? What, that the police are sniffing around for us now? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> it's a morally ambiguous statement as well, but sure. Oh, sorry, I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Are you always taking a leak, dude? I feel like you're always going to the oh bathroom. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep going, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Dark partner. Oh, it's you. Oh. Oh, lovely. Hello. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. 
I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. Oh, I'll show you true strength in a minute, buddy boy. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Want to test that theory? No, they would fight to the end. That's all oh, conjecture. You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? What? What, what do you mean? Uh, I'd love to, I think. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. It seems the detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. Oh, has he now? And of course, anytime we forge a new contract in a dark, dingy cell somewhere in the distant future. We have got to stop meeting like this, Madam Prosecutor. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. You'll never get anything out of me, copper. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Very interesting. Even though this is still, you know, a arcana that was in the original game, they re-recorded that line for some reason. All right. I wonder why. I do wonder why. There's no reason to do it for this oh, one in particular. Yes. We should exchange contact info. Just to maybe keep it even with the other ones that they'd be new? Because I know this arcana has been reworked quite and a bit. Registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. All right, we'll catch you later, Detective Coon. Detective Conan. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. Yeah, no, we shouldn't. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. All right, we'll do it. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. <laughs> a little strong, but I, I know they've reworked this. So the Justice Arcana is now a, a link you actually have to spend time with. Originally, it leveled up with the story, uh, if I remember correctly. So now we actually have to actively pursue it. Come on, let's go. So that is yet another confidant we need to add to our minds and our schedules. Interesting though. All right, well, at least there was no serious incident that happened. That's a good thing. What a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. Well, what did you expect? Is that a catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had a sate on live TV too. Don't be so sour. There are without a doubt people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. No, oh, what a nice thing to say. Still, what was Akechi Kun? What? What was what Akechi Kun said actually wrong? <laughs> was what the musical gamer just spat out word vomit? Yes, yes, it was. I feel like he had a point. Why you gotta bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are Phantom Thieves, on. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet, I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamoshida too. We weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but... This is the problem with vigilante justice, is that, yeah, justice should be delivered to these kinds of people. But when it's done outside of the confines of the law, or the systems that are in place, there will always be a sort of tinge of... Was that really right? 
kind of thrown into it. I don't necessarily think what we did was wrong in the sense of the word wrong, but what we did was definitely overstepping normal societal bounds, you know? What do you think, Musical? Are we being selfish? Well, I can't deny that. This is tough. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. That would be the true vigilante way. Shouldn't that be enough? It should. For what we're doing and what we want to accomplish, that is what we need to do. And with a unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. <laughs> Just you watch it, Ketchy. Someday you're totally gonna see who was right. Yeah, let's that let's let's end this. Ketchy seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Yeah, if we can use him. Nope. Oh. Uh, you heard what Ketchy said. Yes, I did. As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm gonna show Ketchy how people online really feel. Change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? <laughs> Just leave him alone. He's doing what he does. Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. I guess so. I guess we'll keep an eye out for it, but we'll keep an eye out next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, as well as checking out my Patreon. You can find a link to it in the doobly-doo underneath the video. Dollar a month goes a very long way to keeping me online making content for you guys. So if you like this video or anything else I do, please consider heading on over there and pledging to donate at least a dollar a month. Really does help. You would be surprised. My God, everybody who watches these videos to do a dollar a month, I could do this full time. So that would be the ultimate goal. So thank you all. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys then.